Welcome back. During the design development stage, there's certainly occasions when you'll have to convince your clients of the merit in your ideas. But also, you may have to persuade other third parties, such as town planners, residents, groups, or funding bodies. Often it can be very helpful, if not a specific requirement, to demonstrate how your design will look in its context. That is to say, alongside its neighboring buildings and within a realistic setting. And guess what? SketchUp has a pretty nifty tool to help you do just that. This tool is called Match Photo. It's a pretty powerful and frequently misunderstood feature of the SketchUp tool set. And I'm gonna show you how to quickly make it work for you. So here we are again in SketchUp with my refurbishment project that you should be pretty familiar with by now. We're currently looking at the front view of the building as this is the view that I wanna match in with the rest of the street. Now, the first step in using Match Photo is probably the most important, and that is picking your photograph. The better the image you have to work with, the easier it will be to set up your match photo. So if you understand how to set up a perspective drawing, cast your mind back to architecture school if you can, then you'll be able to understand how match photo works. Essentially what match photo does is align the green and red axes in the model with the vanishing points that you identify in the photograph. Therefore, whatever photograph you choose, needs to display at least two faces that are at 90 degrees to one another. What this means is that a straight on view like this is no good as we don't have any obvious vanishing points to work with. We can probably pick some lines off the adjacent buildings or some of this depth in here, but it would be a lot harder to get accurate. Ideally, you wanna take your own photographs. Choose a view where you can clearly see a corner of the building and at least two faces without too many trees or other obstacles in the way. Whichever corner point you identify will become the origin of your model. Then you align the red and green axes of your model with the corresponding faces in the photograph. If you're not able to take your own photo, then Google Street View is the next best option. And you might get lucky as I have here, but just remember that the image quality won't be that great. And the nature of Google Street View is that there's also a small element of distortion that you have to work with. Now it's good practice at this stage to align the model axes with the photo setup. So I'm gonna identify this corner down here as my origin point, And then I'm just gonna align the red and the green axes with the model like this. It's also good to arrange the model into a view that vaguely approximates that of your photograph. So now I've got my model set up, I'm ready to bring in the image. To do this, go to camera, match new photo and then navigate to wherever you've saved your photographs once the photo comes in things immediately start to look a bit crazy don't panic like almost everything in sketchup it's really quite simple once you understand how it works let's take this one step at a time so this yellow square down here is the origin and if you hover over these things you, you'll also notice that you get little tool tips from sketchup that tell you what to do but if we take this yellow square Let's move this to the origin point that we set in our model so that the two things immediately correspond. Now, at this stage, it's a good idea to hide the model view. If we go to the match photo dialog that comes up over here, you'll see we've got a tip next to model that we can uncheck. And now all we have to do is work with the photograph. So with the model hidden, we can click and drag these grips on the red and green lines to align them with the corresponding red and green axes in the photograph. Again, these axes should be the same planes that we just set up with our axes tool. You'll also notice that SketchUp provides a sort of grid overlay when you're doing this to help you align the blue axes at the same time. If I just start with this green one to show you how it works, if we pick this up, let's just align it with the top of these garage doors, okay? Take this other line here, you'll see that the, the grid adjusts as you move these points. Okay, I'm also going to pick this up and let's align it with the, the skylight up here. Hopefully you can see how now the more accurate your photograph is, the higher resolution, the easier this is going to be. I'm already getting a bit pixelated here. Okay, if I just quickly align these red axes with some points on this model. Let's choose this window actually. 
and the gutter line. Okay, so hopefully you're still with me so far. So these red and green lines essentially establish the vanishing point. And this yellow line here is the horizon, which obviously the vanishing point sits on. So I'm quite lucky here in that I can actually see the horizon in this photograph, but depending on the angle of whichever photograph you've taken, you may want to adjust this accordingly. A good tip here is to try and align the axes with elements on the building that you know are parallel, rather than the ground plane, which may well slope away or around the building. Don't worry if you don't get this stuff exactly right first time, you can always come back and tweak it as you go. Okay, so now let's bring our model view back in by reticking this box over here. And we can see that the perspective looks about right, but the scale is obviously all wrong. That's easy to fix. If we just hover over one of these axes, if I pick the blue axes here, you'll see I get this arrow symbol, which allows me to zoom in and out. It's simply a case of clicking and holding and then dragging up and down to zoom up in or out until everything more or less lines up the way you want it. When you're happy, just click done over here and you'll see now that we have this scene up here added to our sketcher model that contains our match photo view. In the scenes dialog, we can rename and reorder this scene the same way we can with any other scene. Let's just call it matched photo. If you want to go back in and adjust the match photo for any reason, simply click on these gear icons up here and your red and green and yellow lines will all reappear, allowing you to adjust the alignment. So why does my building look all washed out and translucent? I hear you cry. Trust me, this baffled me too for quite a while the first time I used Match Photo. Well, it turns out that when SketchUp creates a Match Photo scene, it places two copies of the image in the model, one in front of the model and one behind it. So if we open the Styles dialog over here, I've got my raster style applied. And let's just check in the face settings that we've got shaded with textures set. But if we go to Model Settings, if you look down here, there's a section for match photo. You've got foreground photo and background photo. And using these sliders, you can adjust the opacity of the foreground photo to reveal your model. Alternatively, simply just untick this to hide the foreground photo altogether, and then your model is revealed. Don't forget to update the style and the scene to save these changes. Lastly, we can still manipulate the visibility of the model in this scene. And if I go to the tags window, I want to hide this kind of foreground greenery stuff. So if I just turn off this context layer here, that looks a little bit more realistic. Again, update the scene to save the changes. Okay, and there you have it. We can now include this scene as a viewport in our layout drawing sets. Alternatively, if we go to file, export 2D graphic, we can save this as an image file that we can then share with our clients or the team. And that's pretty much it for this lesson. Hopefully that has demystified the photo match tool for you a little bit. Do have a play around with it. Once you understand how it works, it can actually be quite a lot of fun. Join the next lesson where we'll start preparing viewports for our design development drawings. See you there.